So, log 16. You've seen it in our hands. You've seen it in our glasses. Now, the Distiller's Edition is also based on log 16. But what we're going to do is ask friends of ours to go ahead and present them in a uh, sort of a double blind fashion and we're going to figure out what we think. So, hey, we have my friend the lock picking lawyer, Deviant is here, and we have some log of woolen tonight, don't we? We do. We do. So, what you have to rely on the fact that all of our friends in the room are going to validate for you that our eyes will be going to be closed in a minute. We won't know what we have, but we have two different expressions, one of which is the 16, the other is a distiller's edition. Also a 16, but supposedly handpicked by the, the master craftsman. All right. To together log of love. So if we both go like this and our friends can confirm, are our eyes closed now? They are closed. Can Lonnie hey. Bates please I hand us that. each one of each expression with the numbers toward the camera, but not towards us? Thank you. And now with those numbers towards the camera, we could almost, we could look at each other. We're just, we're on our honor to not look at the okay. glasses. Now. You have wonderful eyes. You have wonderful <laughs> eyes. All right. I hey. don't know what we have here, but we're each about to try something. Hmm. Mm. Oh, that's so nice. Everything is so nice right now. I have to compare them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is so romantic. <laughs> Very similar. This has the slightly less character for me. I'm pointing at mine that I feel like... M actually, no, it actually has a longer, longer tail. Jesus, that's fascinating. All I'm doing is being lost in his eyes. I'm, to, I'm not, I'm not looking again. at my glasses. Shit. Now this tastes more like the 16 after after I let it sit on my tongue. This was more lively up front. This is fascinating. All right, I gotta go back. Mm. So this actually feels way more mature. Or it, this isn't, I'm, I'm prepared to determine that what's in my left hand is not the off the rack. It, it, it's, it's lively in some ways, but it settles down on the tongue. This is the longer chain on the tongue, which is what I'm used to. Do you have any thoughts on, they're, they're both very, God, they're both so fucking good, aren't they? What I like most about Lagavulin is mm -hmm. that it's super peaty up front, mm -hmm. but that peatiness doesn't stay with you. After you swallow, it mellows out, Unlike mm. some of the other super peaty ones, that that's with you for the long haul. Yeah, it's not a Lafroy. Um, it's not an Optimor. It. If I had to guess, I'd say right hand is the sixteen. Okay. The Distiller's Edition is left hand. Um, only because. That's what I think I have as I'm well. I'm not sure I would characterize it as more mature, or. I am just so familiar with the Lagavulin yeah. sixteen that. Yeah. I know what's in my hand, unless Lonnie just, tells me I'm wrong. <laughs> I'm just kind of gonna. Your balls. I'm gonna commit. Lonnie oh. says what? You pan no, to Lonnie. No, That's no. okay. Oh, and we're panning Lonnie. Say? What's Lonnie say? In the right hand, they have the log of one, sixteen. All right, and we had in the hands okay. here. I'm Same at thing it now. Yeah. Same, Same thing. Mm -hmm. the there we are. Yeah. Very okay. good. Job. Very Thank good job. Ever, I didn't pay for either of these bottles. Thank fucking Christ, whoever invited me to this room. I don't know whose room I've even in, but You're did we just break in? Did we get? He's in? How did we get in here? He's not even. In he's the actually room, not right here. here. The owner of this room. The others. Yeah, we just got here. No worries. Um, Salute. Hey, thank you very much for watching. You're still watching this far, aren't you? You're watching even now. I'm blathering about nothing. You're like, oh, God, just get to the prize pelican. All right, I will. So those of you 
watching this far already know this, obviously. We've got a Pelican case. It's full of assorted goodies and things that uh, have just been taking up some space in some of my tool bags and drawers. And some of them, like, like this one, were projects that, that never quite uh, turned out to be. So why? I, I'm, not a, I'm not a mechanic. Why do I have feeler gauges? Am I uh, checking my uh, spacing on my spark plug gaps? No. Feeler gauges make really good uh, stock, either for shims or decoder tools or any variety of other things that a lot of lock people like to use. Uh, if you don't know much about this, you can try to find Max Power. He's Don't Look on uh, Twitter. He'll tell you all about sesame locks and uh, decoding them with ease and doing a lot of fun stuff. That's probably what I was about to do at some point. And then I just said, F it, I'm going to buy expensive Peterson gear. And that's what I did. So these have been in my drawer. But they're not going to be any more because they're going to be one of yours. You know how this works, right? Down in the comments, you, you use the word of the week. And uh, I will pick one of you randomly. The internet will choose one of you by, by the magic, by the powers of, uh, you know, goodly seeded uh, random number generators. So um, I need a word. I need a word. It's, somebody left this book in my house just the other day. Uh, the word is going to be revolt. There you go. Revolt. Use the word revolt, not revolting, not revulsion, just the word revolt somehow in your comment below and I will choose one of you randomly and then I will reach out and I will say, hey, you won the feeler cages. Yes, I know they cost uh, probably less than the cost of postage, but because uh, I want to give them away, I'm going to give them to one of you. All right, good luck to one and all and stay safe out there. Now stop trying to stare deeply into the eyes of my man. <laughs>